Hey guys, Cody here. Today I'll be using this Mosin Nagant M9130, used by the Soviet Union in World War II and post conflicts after that, such as Vietnam, Korea, or any communist bloc countries. This example is in Ishevsk, 1941, probably the start of the Great Patriotic War, as the Russians would like to call it, or World War II. It uses a 7.62 by 54 rimmed cartridge. We'll be using uh, Albanian or Bulgarian surplus, I believe. Um, these ones are post war reworks, as you can tell by the square with the cross through it, the line through it. Down there, we've got a couple of bottles that we'll be shooting at today. See how accurate this is, and possibly even that tiny circle one down there. Um, it's just got a standard post v-notch sight with a side hood against uh, shrapnel things like that It's a uh, Rugged made easy to use some of them the bolts are shit ass But this one's all right. We'll uh, See how it shoots Being a rim cartridge, sometimes you can get rim jam, but not as bad as the three uh, land fields using the 303 British. Just uh, make sure the rim is in front of the previous one when you're loading. Super clips are a pain, especially um, reproduction ones. They generally never work, or you have like an aneurysm trying to put them in. Many countries use this kind of action during the same era. Uh, Finland, for example, used a much better copy of the Mosin, like the M39, M30s, M24s, and I think M21. Um, we'll try and shoot some bottles standing up. Just remember, air protection, you don't want to go deaf early. Overall, for the amount these cost, they're pretty, they're all right actually. About 400 here in Australia, 450 some of them. Um, those surplus rounds, they stink bad, <laughs> and they kick a lot. Um, just, uh, I wish the stock was thicker. They probably got a bit scabby, or the people are a lot smaller. Um, anyway, good rifle, fun to shoot. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.